Little Boat 3.5 is officially out now. The deluxe to Little Boat 3, of course. I think it's eight new songs. And honestly, my opinions on the original were that um, it, was, it was overall a solid album. Um, it started off good and then, you know, had a few other good songs mixed in there. But it had a lot of misses. We're just going to check out all the new songs today. And I think on my own time, I want to go back, listen to the original again. Little Diamond Boy, track number one. Alright, the first one, I kind of got a little bit of mixed opinions, but honestly, overall, I like it. Oh. It's very, very auto-tuned up. I like the kind of the sparkle noise that we got inside the beat um, as well. And then next up, we got Flex Up with Future and Playboy Cardi. Let's hype it up a bit. I know the Cardi fans are going crazy. Uh, we can't forgive him what he did to Pain 1993. Uh, he ruined that song with Drake. <laughs> get dripped that's what it was called that song's fire and playboy cardi he killed that so i gotta give it to him um yachty and cardi in the past have killed it let's see if they can match it right here very very simple hook very bass heavy uh, and Cardi, every single line that he had was about drugs, but I'm sure a lot of people are glad to hear him because the bisexual vampire is finally coming out of his hiding. I don't think Yachty matched the energy completely, but still a very, very hype track. And then Coffin, we've heard this before. This beat is crazy. Alright, honestly on this Coffin song that dropped a few weeks back, uh, he doesn't really do much of it lyrically. Um, it's very, very short. It's like a minute and a half song. And, uh, you know, I, I think that um, uh, this could have been a really, really good Yachty song. I like it, but he didn't do enough lyrically on it. And I think this one's like going viral on TikTok and stuff. So it makes sense that it already came out. Um, but yeah, let's keep moving on. Certified. And Certified was a very, very short song. I feel like he did um, way better melodically, stuff that he needed to do on the first track to make it better. Um, but I can already see that one being one of the more catchy songs on here. Um, so we're already seeing the melodic side, we're already seeing the, the hype songs, we're seeing all kinds of Yachty on this deluxe, um, and I like that. And then next up, we got Charmin with Kochi. It's gonna be a squeak-a-thon about to happen. Let's check it out. I feel like the beats on this album are really, really good. It's keeping it going a lot, uh, no matter who is up there performing on the mic. So I think Kochi's, he honestly did a good job. I've liked a, f a few of his songs now. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of tapping into like uh, that, that type of baby voice, trap sound, whatever you want to call it. If I had to choose between Play With Cardi or Kochi's like baby voice style, I saw a lot of people saying that we'll decide who's better. Um, overall, I feel like, um, off of first listen, I like the way Cardi fit into his verse more on that song. But, I mean, they are kind of two different songs. Like, it's not like they sounded similar at all. The rest of these songs have features, so this next one's got a little baby on it. Let's check it out. I don't know, to me, Yachty was just boring for a three and a half minute song of that kind of that mumble feel. Lil Baby's verse wasn't bad, at least it was mixed properly and he didn't screw someone over this time. Um, but then again, I don't know, I don't think he could save that song. Um, but yeah, I feel like that was the first one that I would not listen to again. Vince Staples featured up on this song, uh, In My Stussies. Well, this song again was just kind of boring to me. It wasn't hitting like the other ones did. Let's check out the last one. It's Yachty and Oliver Tree. He said this is for the people who like I Spy and Broccoli and those big hits from back in the day. So I'm excited. This was the one um, that I was looking forward to the most. Let's check it out. Why you such 
All right, this one was all right. Oliver Tree kind of comes off a bit cringe in my opinion, but Yachty killed it on that um, very beach sounding summer song um, that it kind of sounded like um, in a very tropical type beat that we got. Um, I don't know, I like Yachty on it, but I don't know. Possible, possible song that I like, but the last three were not as good as the first five. The first five were honestly all bangers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead on my own and re-listen because um on the original i liked the first like six songs and then yeah there's just like a lot of solo songs that i've just like didn't really care for and like oprah's bank account got old fast but i know that was a big song it's just i think i think everyone could agree that that song low-key flopped or it didn't really flop because it did good when it came out but it, it didn't really live up to the hype for that long and doesn't he have that Michigan Boat Boys tape coming out? I don't know how long that's going to be or if that does end up dropping in 2020 like you said. But I'll listen to that. It's like my reaction to the new Lil Bo 3.5. Um, Lil Bo 3 Deluxe. Smash a like on the video. Follow my Twitter. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I'll be back with a brand new reaction tomorrow. Peace.